on our investigation into military families who are having trouble getting enough to eat during the pandemic. Nearly 40 percent have had trouble putting food on the table. CBS's Mark Strassman continues his reporting tonight, including the military's response. Beggars can't be choosers. Kay is on her way to a food bank again to feed her army family of six. But for us, it lasts a couple of days, maybe, just because there's so many of us in the house. Her husband, an E-5 sergeant, works at JBLM, Joint Base Lewis McCord near Tacoma, Washington. His take-home pay, roughly $3,000 a month. It's not enough. I cannot feed my kids. You know, I cannot um, make this vehicle payment because I had to feed my kids. It's just unacceptable, <laughs> really. Since the pandemic hit, one study reports nearly 40% of active duty service members have food insecurity. Is there a food bank on post? There is not. Do you track food insecurity at JBLM? We don't track that. At JBLM, Colonel Trey Rutherford's chief of staff for the 7th Infantry Division. The Army Emergency Relief Program offers struggling families help with budgeting and loans for food. We challenge families to have the courage to trust in us, to trust in their leaders, to help them solve the challenges. And they need to feel comfortable saying, hey, family, I need some assistance. But military culture prizes resilience. Asking for help can feel taboo. So in kind of talking to other spouses, it was kind of like, no, that's kind of hush hush. In this pandemic, many military spouses lost jobs. JBLM has tracked 350 families, down from two incomes to one. They are challenged, they are squeezed, and we must get better, and we will get better. Congresswoman Marilyn Strickland's district includes JBLM. The people who are serving our country should not have to worry about food on the table. But last December, Congress failed to approve a military family basic needs allowance. There it is, that's it. Kay has cut family meals to two a day. It was hardest for the little one just because she doesn't understand, you know, I'm hungry and I always eat when I'm hungry. Have a good one. Serving their country, but struggling to serve their own family. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta. And so many of you have reached out wanting to help. You can go to combatmilitaryhunger.org.